A power amplifier is an electronic device that increases the line-level audio signal to loudspeaker level. The power amplifier is the last processing device in the signal path prior to the loudspeaker. Power amplifiers differ by way of their class, power rating, number of channels, specifications, and any additional features incorporated into the unit's design. Power amplifier class types are designated by the design of the output stage and how the signal amplification actually occurs. The most popular classes include A, B, AB, C, D, H, and S. These classes are not generally important to the sound engineer, they are more important to audiophiles and those who can discern an audible difference between classes. An amplifier's power rating indicates the output power in watts based on the load that the amplifier sees. An amplifier will output more power to a load with a lower impedance. For example, a QSC PLX1804 will output 600 watts into an 8-ohm load, but will increase to 900 watts if the load is 4 ohms. Most power amplifiers are stereo, meaning they output two channels of audio. Amplifiers also come in multi-channel versions that have four, six, and even eight output channels. Multiple channel power amplifiers are advantageous when low to mid wattage is required and equipment rack space is limited. Amplifier specifications include the device's power rating, input sensitivity, distortion, damping factor, and frequency response. Specifications document the device's performance and sonic quality based on industry standard tests. For example, amplifier output ratings are determined by applying various impedance loads to the output when driven with a 1 volt input level. An amplifier specification should be considered when selecting an amplifier but should not be the sole criterion. Critical listening tests and proven performance should be highly considered. An increasing number of manufacturers are integrating control and monitoring capabilities into their amplifiers. Via computer software, the operator can communicate with the amplifier over a network and monitor the input level, output level, gain, heat load, and other such features. Software configurations provide for easy control and tailoring of the amplifier's features. Recent developments in amplifier design have seen circuits integrated that detect overload on both the input and output stages, virtually eliminating short circuits from damaging the amplifier. Heat sensors incorporated into the amplifier can tell the amplifier to shut down in case of excessive heat due to shorted loudspeaker cables or too low of an impedance caused by too many loudspeakers being connected to the amplifier. An amplifier's output is dependent on the impedance load of the connected loudspeakers and the input voltage level. Impedance is the audio term for resistance. The impedance of a loudspeaker is the load that the amplifier sees and attempts to drive. Most amplifiers maintain stability driving loads down to 4 ohms, with some remaining stable down to 2 ohms. It is helpful to think of impedance in terms of a valve. When the valve is fully open, there is no impedance but close that valve one quarter of the way and there is resistance to the flow. Connecting a loudspeaker to the output of an amplifier creates resistance and hence a load is applied to the amplifier.
The knobs found on the front or rear of the amplifier are attenuation controls. Their purpose is to cut the incoming signal in order to adjust output level. Amplifiers are automatically set to 100% gain. The attenuation knobs simply control the amount of signal reaching the amplifier's output stage. Most modern amplifier designs incorporate several operating modes that manipulate the input and output signal configurations. The two input configurations are stereo and parallel mono, and the output configurations are stereo and bridged mono. These settings are typically selected via switches on the rear of the amplifier. Attention should be paid to proper wiring of both the input and output connections. Improper wiring can cause severe damage.